Welcome to G's Adaptive Fitness Training. See, the goal at the start of any workout is to always loosen up to prevent injury. And then you want to relax yourself as far as you want to get rid of any stress that you had throughout your day, throughout your week. So that's what the breathing exercises help with. And you just want to have a clear head when you're 
working out so that way you can be most efficient. Now let's go. So for the first movement today, we will be using the medicine ball. If you do not have a medicine ball, or if the medicine ball that you have may be too heavy for whatever reason, you can use a water jug. That's a good substitute. Um, you can either use a broomstick or you can use the do these exercises with no assistance whatsoever or no additional equipment whatsoever. So if you are in a chair or use a wheelchair, I would advise you to lock your chair. If it's a manual one, if it's an electric one, you can you know, put it in whatever function that you're most comfortable in but where the chair doesn't move. And if you're in a stationary chair, that's fine as well. Now, for individuals that have more ability, you can scoot forward in the chair to give you an even better workout. You can put your legs down on the ground. And now you're going to really be focusing you know, on your core because you're not leaning back on your back having any assistance. So what we like to do is stick our arms out. And we're going to do 10 reps of up-downs. I'm going to show you what it is. Go down. One, hold your stomach in because you're definitely going to slouch. Okay, so let's go down first and then up, and that's one down, up, two, hold that core in, down, up, three, down, up, four. Six, down, up seven, down, up eight, down, up nine, down, up ten. So, as you get more uh, proficient and better with this exercise, you can either scoot forward in a chair, use a heavier medicine bowl, and you could try to find other variations to make this exercise more difficult. For you. Now, if it's too difficult for you, what I do suggest is doing this exercise with no additional equipment, just your body weight. And now we'll do another set, and each exercise I display today, you can do three sets of ten is what I would recommend, but do what you're capable of and do what you're comfortable with. So if it's four reps, do four reps. If it's three reps, do three reps. You know, here at Garrison GRP Fitness, we're definitely here for everyone, and we want everyone to partake in any exercise. So don't be afraid if, or worry or anything of that nature if you can't do the reps that I'm doing or you can't do the sets that I'm doing. That's completely fine and okay because we're going to build that endurance up. So before you know it, you're going to be doing 15, 20, 25 at 7, 8, 9 sets. <laughs> but um, here's the next set I'm going to do of this exercise. And actually, now I'm going to do it the opposite way. I'm going to go up and then down. So follow along. Up, down, that's one. Up, down, that's two. Up, down, that's three. Up, down, that's four. Up, down, that's five. Up, down, six. Up, down, seven. Four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! So the first set we do clockwise, the second set we do counterclockwise. And we'll be doing three sets of each. Arms out. Let's begin. Circle around. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten. Woo! Feel it. See, I had to even sit back for a second. Okay, so that was the first set of medicine bowl workouts. Now we're going to go into some resistance band workouts. Okay. So another workout I like to do for the core, but this is more attacks the back. However, um, I found it to be very beneficial, especially for individuals who pretty much sit down for the majority of their day, or even walks with assistive devices, because I do ambulate sometimes with crutches and braces. Um, this workout right here is great for stability. And you will definitely see the results over time. Okay, so with the resistance band, you can either fold it or you can leave it straight, depending on the intensity you need. And what we're going to do is this exercise called a band pull apart. So what you do is start with the band, about shoulder width apart, you grab firmly with your hands, just like how I'm displaying, and all you're going to do is just pull. You should feel your shoulder blades coming together each time. So. This would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. some swimming stretches right quick and then I'm gonna go grab the band and we're gonna do another set. Once again we do all sets, typically three sets and ten repetitions. Gotta stay loose. All right, all right. Now if you do not have the resistance band you can use other um, mechanisms such as you can follow along and just just like that hands together squeeze your shoulder blades together hands together squeeze your shoulder blades together so that's how you would do it if you do not have a resistance band. If you do have a resistance band, we're going to go again and we're going to do 10 reps. feeling it. I hope everybody's feeling good. Now we're going to go into another movement and I feel everyone will like this. This one is not too difficult but yet very effective. I brought, I think I'm going to go right here and put the resistance band to this. That's the point. Okay, so for this 
next exercise, what you can do is you're going to grab your resistance band and you're going to connect it to a post. So for instance, you could connect it to a door, anything that's pretty much stationary that's very hard for you to move would be suitable. Um, one of the things I like to do is I like to use a couch. And what I do is just slide the band underneath. And you do not have to do this exercise with a resistance band. Um, I just like to use the resistance band because it gives me more tension on my muscles. But um, we're going to do arm rolls. So what you're going to do is cross the resistance band, hold the one it's at, and so I'm holding the left sturdy, and I'm just going to roll with the right arm. You don't have to pull too hard. Just pull so you can feel your shoulder blades come back and you have tension on your back muscles. And we're going to do 10 of these. So it's going to go one, two, three, core builder today. I'm going to leave the resistance band right where it's at. I'm going to grab from the other side. So you take your right arm, pull it across your body, and you're just going to pull up. Make sure you lock your chair or you're using something stationary where it won't move because trust me, the tension here and your strength is going to move. <laughs> Try to stay upright and use good posture. You want to pull diagonally so you can really feel your core muscles being engaged. So this is going to be one. It's going to be two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, I'm going to flip around so you are going to see my back, but you will be seeing muscles being engaged. So I'm sorry to have my back to you guys, but it is what it is. I want to make sure y'all see how to get your muscles engaged properly. One, two, So, for our last workout today, it will be requiring a resistance band. 
can't, if you do not have your resistance band, you can use a towel. So what I want everyone to do, and if you, you know, depending on your limitations, if you're sitting in a wheelchair, I would like for you to scoot forward if you're comfortable doing so. If not, it's completely fine for you to lean back against your backrest. That's perfectly fine. So, And if you're in a stationary chair, just like a regular chair where you're sitting down on, um, if you can, once again, scoot forward. If it's comfortable, if it's uncomfortable, by all means, please do not do so. Just sit against the backrest. But the reason why I'm saying this is because this exercise will be requiring you to contract your abdomen muscles if you can't engage them. But if you can't engage them, it will help engage those muscles. It will help get them firing. And um, you know, if you ambulate regularly, you can follow along do this workout the same way we're doing it. Um, you can just squat and do it from a squatted position. So what you will be doing, you're gonna hold the resistance band shoulder width apart or a towel. And what you're going to do is just go up, down, and that's one. Up, but keep tension on the band or on the towel. Down, that's two. So here we're going to go together. We already did two, but I'm going to start the count over. So look, up, down one, up, down two, up, down three, up. Four, try to stay straight up, up, down five, up, down six, up, down seven, up, down eight, up, down nine, up, one more, y'all, down ten. Woo! That was a workout. And like all workouts, you can do three sets of ten repetitions. 